<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin. I'm here with Richard, and we are here to talk about what is the key to this Cleveland Indian success. Richard, what's going on, man? Before we get to this video. Not too much, not too much, man. Just playing some MLB 11 the show, kicking back, and relaxing. Yeah, I'm doing this opposite, but I'm playing MLB 2K11. So, um, Richard, this team, this Cleveland Indians team is dominant right now in baseball. Right now, their record is phenomenal at 8-2. They lost the first two games, and they never lost again. They're playing the Angels right now, and they're losing right now by one run. What is the key to this team's success? Oh, well, you have a team like the Indians where they don't, they're not exactly known for their money. It's their youth. I mean, you got guys like, um, you got Sin Su Chu, who is really, probably, in my opinion, one of the most underrated players in all of baseball. You got Michael Brantley, who's good. Uh, and Drupal Cabrera, who's molding into a great shortstop. Uh, Fausto Carmona, Carlos Carrasco. I think that if the Indians can get Justin Madison and Josh Tomlin, or even Mitch Talbot to develop a little bit more, um, that they would they'd really help them out a lot. They have Carlos Santana, probably one of the best catchers in the game. Uh, I like the back end of their bullpen with Rafael Perez and Chris Perez. Um, you know, and Matt Laporta, a guy who they got in the CC Sabathia trade in Milwaukee. So many expectations. Uh, can this guy live up to it? Um, I just think their youth is the key to their success. Um, I have actually think that their hitting has been good. Um, we have an alternate at first base. I think it was Travis Hefner who's starting first base. But you also have an alternate in um, Carlos Santana. I see him play a couple uh, first basemen at, at some times in the game. Um, their backup first baseman, I think his name is um, uh, Jack Hanahan or uh, Travis Hafner, usually plays it. Their backup catcher is Lou Marson. So, um, will this team ever? Will this team fall? Will this team make the playoffs, Richard? At all? Do you think? I don't like the, I don't like the, way the playoffs this year. You got the heavyweights in the division, and the Twins, the Tigers, and the White Sox. I don't think this team's on the rise, and I expect big things out of them in the next couple of years. Um, you know, the prospects like Jason Kipnis and uh, um, Lonnie Chisholm Hall and uh, Nick Hagedone, who uh, I unfortunately missed out on the interview. Um, yeah, you know, all these guys coming through the system, I think that this is going to be a great ball club in, I think, two or three years. Um, if I'll, I'll be uh, damn near surprised if this team continues their dominance I think they could probably be a repeat of maybe I think it was his 07 or 08 season where they beat the Yankees in the playoffs I mean this team is really really talented I mean but Carlos can Santana the guy guys like it's Drupal they got a veteran leader and Orlando Cabrera I mean what else could go positive for this team do you think this team will be above an 80 win season <sighs> That's tough. I'll give them a, I'll give them the seventy to seventy five range. Eighties on quite a few wins for this ball club. Um, I think that maybe about seventy nine wins will do it good for this team. Um, going to their pitching, who do you think will carry this pitching rotation on its back? Will it be Masterson or will it continue its faithful resistance with Foster? Oh, I think Foster Carmona is definitely the guy who um you know, that's going to carry the Indians. But if the Indians aren't in uh, contention, expect them gone. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how else to say it. I think that the, um, the Indians are shopping him and Sin Tzu Chu, which just sounds unfortunate. But, you know, a low, mar low to mid-market team, you need to trade for prospects. You can't continue to, to uh, have these huge contracts. And, um, I mean, I think Foster Kamoto will carry them as long as he can unless he's traded. That could happen. I mean, uh, Fausto, is he coming near the end of his contract, do you know, by any chance? I think Fausto Camona is actually in the last year of his contract. Um, so, I mean, he could be, he's a very, um, he could be a very reliable pitcher in the National League. Um, he has a career line of 46 points, 52 losses with a 4.49 ERA. That's about average. And yeah, his deal does run out this year. Um, He's making $6.1 this year, and he has three team options afterwards. 
I go that it's worth seven, nine, and twelve million. Um, seven, nine, and twelve million respectively. And and um, yeah, I don't think the Indians really can afford that. So do you think that Carl uh, he will be signed with like the Yankees will pursue him? Do you think that the Yankees could pursue that guy? I think that the Yankees are. Oh, uh, I think they're going to be at the trade deadline. I think they're going to be in the running for Bob Stoke on Mona, James Shields, uh, you know, you, any pitcher that's on the trading block, I think the Yankees will be after him. Um, yeah, I definitely think the Yankees is actually pretty, would actually be a pretty decent fit for Carmona, for his own teammates, CC, you know. Yeah. Uh, going to Justin Masterson, uh, sorry to talk about all these key parts, but it is what is the key to this team's success? Will the Cleveland Indians hold on to Justin Masterson, or will he be gone by the deadline? Um, I think that I think that they have plans for Masterson to try to lead the squad one day. I don't know how soon it's going to come because he hasn't been really that sharp. Um, but I think mean, it's a possibility. But I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Um, you know, he's not he's not eligible to be a free agent until 2015. But uh, 2012 will be his arbitration year. Maybe they trade him at the trade deadline in 2012, so they don't have to pay for his arbitration. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I definitely think that Madison will be sticking around for a little bit. He's 2-0 this year with a 1.35 ERA. It's a good sign out of a young kid like Masterson. Yeah. So there you guys have it. Will this team continue its dominance with the pieces of? Uh, as Dribble Cabrera, Carlos Santana, Travis Hafner, Fausto Carmona, um, guys like that. You also got Sin Chu Chu, Grady Sizemore. Oh, to throw into something right there, Richard. Will Grady Sizemore, when Grady comes back, will we see the original Grady or will it be a new and improved Grady that we will see? Well, I think there'll be some, um, you know, growing pains uh, coming off of an injury. Um, but, I mean, if he can remain out the rest of the season, definitely I expect him to be in top form going into 2012. I think that he'll still be decent for the Indians. And once he gets back, if the Indians are still in contention, I might have to, uh, you know, change it up a little bit. They might be an interesting candidate to make the playoffs with Brady coming back, playing at the top of this game, well, the young guys. Um, you know, if they are in contention, they might call up guys like Lonnie Chisholm Hall. Uh, and Nick Hagenau and guys like that to really push them into the playoffs. So the Indians might, if um, might might be a playoff contender if everything goes right. Though everybody needs to stay healthy. Yeah. So I have to agree with that. So everybody really has to stay healthy for this Cleveland squad. And I'm pretty sure that I think they'll finish the season in a losing toll, but they they could make the playoffs. It could be a surprise if they do. I don't know 100%. I, it's just still iffy right now. Um, I've seen a lot of teams have that great beginning of the season, and then once it gets to the middle, we're just talking about maybe six or seven, eight game sh losing streak. So it will all determine on how well this team will be healthy. Um, they have to keep size more healthy. Got to keep Fosso healthy. Got to keep Masterson, Carrasco, Carlos Santana, all their key pieces to the squad to be healthy. So. Guys, let us know if this is going to be the Cleveland's year to make the playoffs and have a bounce back season before the Royals or the Pirates do, uh, since they're the only three teams pretty much that, are, that lose like every single season in last place. So you let us know if the Cleveland Indians are going to go somewhere this season. Are they going to be in a rebuilding process? Um, you let us know. Comment below and tell us what you think. I'm Justin, and that's Richard. We'll talk to you guys soon, and let's talk some baseball and have a great week.